What's up guys, Shane Stars with Droid Modder X. Today I'm going to show you guys how to disable force encryption. So on the Nexus 6 and Nexus 9 and all of Android Lollipop, it has forced encryption, which some people are reporting that it really slows down your device and adds lag. There should be no lag whatsoever in AOSP. I have not really experienced the lag. Um, you know, some people say that they have. So if you are one of those people that's experiencing lag or you just would like to disable the encryption, there's an easy way to do that. We're going to use the Nexus Root Toolkit. The only caveat here is that it will wipe your user data. There's no way to disable it without wiping data. So that is the only downfall, but we'll go ahead and launch the Nexus Root Toolkit and get started. Okay, so before we get started, we're going to need to go ahead and enable USB debugging. We'll go to Settings. We'll go to About Phone. Go to the build number and click on that several times. Okay, once it says that you are now a developer, we'll go into developer options. Turn those on and scroll down to USB debugging. Make sure that is enabled. Then you'll want to go ahead and plug in your USB cable. Okay, so you may get a message on this screen asking to allow access to your PC. Click the always option and then select OK. Once you've done that, we'll go ahead and set this to the side. Now you're going to need the Nexus Root Toolkit version 1.9.9. If you have an earlier version, it will automatically update it. So Nexus Root Toolkit, when it boots up, it will recognize that it has an out-of-date version and it'll ask you if you want to update. Just go ahead and select yes. Give it a few seconds, it will download and update the toolkit. Okay, so you also have a live log in the newest version of the Nexus Root Toolkit by Wugfresh, which is a really neat feature because it shows you exactly what is going on with your phone. Uh, in the live log. So you want to make sure that you have the right model selected. Now this is going to work for the Nexus 9, Nexus 6, and all other Nexus devices. Uh, Wugfresh is also working on the Bacon Toolkit, or he's already released it for the OnePlus One, so it's not just Nexus devices, he's also working to get us the toolkit on other devices as well. So big shout outs to Wugfresh for his development on this toolkit. We'll go into Change. Make sure that you have the correct device selected. I'm on the Nexus 6, and my build is Android 5.0.0. There's also, an option, there's also an option to auto-detect device and builds. So we'll go ahead and apply that. Uh, there is the message. So you want to go ahead and check the always allow from this computer and then select OK. So moving right along, we'll press OK. OK, and from here we're going to go into the advanced utilities. Go ahead and launch that. Then we're going to go to the boot kernel. Let's go ahead and launch that. It's flashing an alternate boot image can provide you with additional functionality. Uh, we're going to go with this no enforce, we're going to go with this no force encryption and we'll, uh, that will give us that option here in just a second. We'll click OK and we'll select this no force encrypt. Okay, so it says file dependency download status, not present need to download. So that's one thing that I really love about Nexus Root Toolkit is you don't have to go scouring the web and the forums in order to find the files that you need. It will direct you to the file download. So uh, basically, we'll just click this. It'll go ahead and automatically download the file that's needed, and it will begin the process. Okay, so when the download is finished, so the script will flash the no force encrypt kernel fast boot format user data. That's where it erases your user data. So wipe all user data on your device to back up first and then go ahead and press OK when we're ready. OK, it shows you the list, shows your device listed there and it's going to begin to do its thing. So it's rebooting your device into bootloader mode. OK, and you'll see that it has rebooted into bootloader mode there. OK, so it popped up saying that the fast boot mode was not found, but after a second, the computer did recognize the device and it started doing its thing. So it's going to go ahead and flash the no force encrypt image. Okay, now it's rebooting the bootloader. So it flashed the image, it rebooted the bootloader. Now it is formatting user data. Okay, now it's rebooting the device. Okay, as soon as this finishes, we're going to run a quadrant score. The quadrant score that I was getting before the encrypt was taken away was 14,000, which is not very good for a modern device. Other devices with the same setup, uh, the pro same processor, same RAM, and Android 5.0 are getting more like 23, 24,000. So this is almost half of what the other phones were getting. So it says uh, the, no, the no force encrypt kernel was flashed. Please be patient with your device as it boots up. It can take 10 to 15 minutes. So don't freak out if it doesn't boot up automatically. It's going to take it a while. 
it did wipe everything and it's happened to boot up like it's a fresh device. So once booted, you can confirm that it worked by checking settings, security, and encryption. So we'll give this several minutes to reboot and then we'll take a look at the device. All right guys, so we are all finished here. We're all booted back up. I've signed in. In fact, I'm uh, restoring my Google account back up from earlier. So we'll go into settings and security and the encryption there it says encrypt phone so we are not encrypted if i press that we'll be encrypted so it did work now we'll go and find the quadrant benchmark which is not there yet looks like it's trying to download our applications and restore everything so we give it just a few seconds to restore everything and then we will run the quadrant benchmark Okay, so we're going to give it a quick quadrant standard benchmark test. Now, I'm not sure that this will actually improve our scores on the quadrant. Um, other phones may be cheating the quadrant. I'm not sure. Uh, this actually outperforms devices like the G3 and the Note 4 in the Geekbench test and also the Antutu 2 benchmark test. But for some reason, it really craps out in the quadrant testing. That could have been because encryption. I'm not really sure. I guess we'll see here in just a second how well it performs. Hopefully, it'll do better than 14,000 or uh, more like 13.2 or 13.5 thousand which is what I was getting earlier in the week trying to run this benchmark so it's almost about to wrap it up here it seems like it's really chewing through the test so maybe we'll get lucky here and it will do better and it doesn't do any better on the quadrant benchmarking um, so really hopefully this will alleviate some lagging uh, that you may have seen on your device or any slowness that you've felt or seen if it's been sluggish at all uh, disabling the force encryption should speed up your device so we'll just kind of test this out a little bit scroll from screen to screen and it seems as fast as ever like i said earlier i never really had any issues with fluidity or speed or performance on my device so um, if you have this will be one way to fix that as you can see, it's running super smooth and super fast now with no issues whatsoever. Everything looks nice and fluid, and it seems to be performing really well. So guys, that about wraps it up for this video. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at DroidModerX.com. Follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.